hello everyone so after posting this uh, 3d photo in facebook so i thought of sharing how did i capture the depth map uh, and the color map uh, color rendering actually color rendering is not a problem how to render the depth in order to create a 3d photo so actually i had already covered that in this video which i did a while ago but uh, here we have a problem the problem is this when i enable scene depth you can see there are some lines here so because of that we don't properly get the 3d effect uh, as we intended so Today I'm going to show you a method to properly render the scene depth without having any problems. So first here under buffer visualizations, well first in order to make a 3D photo what we have to do is take a screenshot uh, of, with the colors and then take a screenshot with the depth, scene depth and then uh, name them as let's say something like screenshot dot png and screenshot underscore depth dot png so when you do rename it like that and upload it to facebook it automatically recognize as a 3d image so right now here we already have the option to render scene depth like this but when i do it like this you can see we have this uh, lines I'm not sure why did does that happen and also um, in the closer uh, in closer range it should be white completely white and as we go further it should be black that's how the depth uh, image should be in order to work with Facebook 3d image system so to work to get that effect I'm gonna create a new post process material uh, like this I'll call it um, no PP scene depth right now I'm gonna change the material domain to post process so we can use this as a post process material so now here we only have MSU color then so yeah that's all right then we can get scene texture uh, no Ah, yes, it should be seen texture. And here I'm gonna get the scene depth. And if I plug it here, it's all white. So the reason is when I'm away from certain when the depth of the scene depth of the pixel is away from the camera more than one well it becomes white so let's divide this with the parameter i'll call it range and let's try something like thousand and connect here but now you can see as I get closer it becomes black and as I get further it becomes white so actually this is not the way I need I need it to be in the closer it should be white as I go further it should be black that's the way I want it so simple let's first clamp this 
to be uh, in between 0 and 1 and then get 1 minus plug it to the range like this let's try 10,000 or maybe no 1,000 is better right now apply uh, now here select the post process volume and then on the post process materials add another element asset reference pp depth the material i just created add it here like this now you can see um, the depth map but this range is not enough let's try 10,000 still maybe not enough 15,000 uh, I think that would be enough okay now if I make this value 0 I have the full colored image so let's take a screenshot with high res shot 1 no maybe 2 and a screenshot is saved oh wait I can't have these trees waving so therefore I need to pause the time so let's simulate and pause so nothing right better now let's take the screenshot and it's where is it okay here this is the screenshot I took now here let's um, change this back to one and then again take another screenshot like this okay now we have this color shot I'm gonna name it shot and I'm gonna name this one shot underscore depth right now select both images and drag and drop here right now it is processing the 3d image cool now we have a clean 3d image as you can see here we have less artifacts it's more clean than the previous case also if you notice here we don't have any lines in the sky all right so that's it and thanks for watching so as always the project files will be available through patreon page and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye